So at the beginning of the diagnosis, uh, I felt like lost, right? There was just like a dark or black uh, future. Uh, Andres was very young, so I had no idea what he was being able to do or what he couldn't, was not going to be able to do. When you are living with autism, there is a lot of uh, lack of empathy and there is really a lot of ignorance in the world as to what it means uh, for the child and what it means for, for the family. Uh, when working and interacting with Taka, all of that goes away. There is instant um, connection, there is instant empathy, and there is uh, infinite compassion that families have with each other that create uh, amazing building blocks to find solutions. Taka gives you a community. You're not alone anymore. There are many parents that, unfortunately, right, many parents that are going through the same issues like you are. So uh, after we found Taka and we started implementing some of uh, the things and so we started working with him, uh, you could see progress and with progress you have hope. Uh, last time that we had our visit with Dr. Dan Rosignol, Dan gave us the biggest um, uh, hope that you can have with a, as a parent with a child with autism, which was, you know what, keep working on this path and going to college for Andreas is in the cards. I'm going to study everything and I'm going to earn a doctorate for everything. COVID-19 has been tough for the world. It wasn't kind to Taka. Uh, Taka's focus never deviated from we have a mission, we have families out there, and if COVID was hard for everybody else, it was probably tougher for many families with autism. And the, the, the focus on helping them uh, just continued to, to increase and continue to, uh, to be a priority. There is no way we could be where we are today without Taka. Thank you so much, Taka, for all you do.